Hey guys, today we're going to work on drawing some rectangles when you're given a certain area and perimeter. Now these can be kind of tricky. They're meant to stretch your brain a little bit. They're also meant to be done with pencil and what I call some good old trial and error. Meaning you might not get them on the first or even second or third try, but that doesn't mean that you should give up because you know exactly how to find area and you know exactly how to find perimeter, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Our question here today says draw a rectangle with an area of 16 centimeters squared and a perimeter of 20 centimeters. So first things first, we don't want to get those confused. So just because I don't want them getting confused, I'm going to actually color them different. So the area is 16 centimeters square and the perimeter of our rectangle, it's let's do green, is going to be 20 centimeters. So the distance around is going to be 20 centimeters. The area of the rectangle is going to be 16 centimeters. So we know, switch back over to my pink pen here, that area of a rectangle is equal to base times height, or in other words, length times width. So we know that whatever we have to multiply by, it is going to equal 16 centimeters squared. So what are some things that we can multiply by to get 16 centimeters squared? We could do, um, this is where the trial and error comes in. So we want to get 16, so actually I should undo that. So we want to get 16 centimeters squared. So what are some things that we could multiply together to get 16? We could do... 8 times 2, we could do 16 times 1, we could do 4 times 4. So these are some dimensions that we could work with with our rectangle, and we can try any of these three. The thing is we just have to make sure that it matches up to our perimeter of 20 centimeters, okay? So let's go ahead and actually try drawing this out. Let's draw the first one, 4 by 4 actually this is my last one, but let's draw the 4 by 4 one, okay? So I'm going to switch over to, um, I'm going to switch over to just a black pen for you to see. So I'm going to use my centimeter grids here. Each of these are worth 1 centimeter, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my length of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's 4. And I'm going to draw my, uh, I'm sorry, that would have been my, uh, my height, and then my base of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now I'm just going to complete it because I know that my opposite sides are going to be equal, so that must be 4 as well. So that means we're going to be making a square. And then bring that down and that's going to be 4 as well. All right, so all we did was we took our two um, factors that we multiplied together to get the area, because our area is 16 centimeters squared, and we created a rectangle with it. In this case, it's a square. So let's check to see if our perimeter works. We need to have a perimeter, remember, of 20 centimeters. So you remember that perimeter is the distance around. So let's go ahead and add it up. So perimeter is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, and these would all be centimeters. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16. So our total perimeter is 16. Well, that's fine, or 16 centimeters. That's fine and dandy, but that's not our perimeter of 20 centimeters. So we know that this one is not going to work. So we cannot use the 4x4 four four, uh, length and width or base and height. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. That means we're going to have to try another one. I'm going to actually make my eraser a little bit bigger so this goes by faster. There we go. Don't we love technology? Okay, so let's try another one. So, so far we figured out that this one is not going to work, and that's okay. Let's try the 8x2. Let's look at this one next. So, remember, the 8x2 is going to be our length and width, or base and height. You could call it the both. So, let's go ahead and draw um, our length of 8. You could also draw a height of 8. That's just fine. I'm just going to do, actually, yeah, let's do 8 this way. Switch over to black for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ooh, I'm just kind of going to run out of room here, so I might actually do it the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Way to the bottom there. And then I'm going to do, so that's 8. 
I need two over. All right. So that's my dimensions, eight times two. And I'm just gonna complete my rectangle because I know that opposite sides are equal in a rectangle. So that would be eight, and at the bottom here, this would be two centimeters. Okay, so remember, we know that perimeter is equal to all of the sides added up of our polygon. So we have two plus eight plus two plus eight, okay? So we know that two plus eight is 10 plus another 10 would be 20. So hey, what do you know? Look at that. We have our perimeter now. We know that the answer to this problem with a perimeter of 20 centimeters, just like it asked for, and an area of 16, just like it asked for, this is what the rectangle would look like. It has the dimensions of eight centimeters by two centimeters. So once again, you might not get these at first all the time, and that is okay. It might take you some trial and error. It might take you a couple of times to work it out. Don't get frustrated. You will find the answer to it. Just make sure that you are keeping track of what your area is and what your perimeter is. And also make sure you are keeping track of what shape they're asking you. We could not draw any other polygon. They needed to see a rectangle for this question. Okay. That's all for now. We'll catch you later.